922 South Texas Crime Stories has a new season out and it's all about the satanic panic hysteria of the late 1980s and 90s. Co-host of the podcast, Erica Hernandez, is joining us now to talk about season five. Hey, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. So tell us, you know, why the whole uh, season about satanic panic? So this was a big hysteria, like you just said, in the 80s and 90s, and it, it affected thousands of people across the nation. But there was two cases here in San Antonio that were affected. And it, it, it's interesting to see that even here in San Antonio, five people were wrongfully accused. What is the focus of each of the three episodes? So the first two episodes fo focuses on the Melvin Queenie case. Melvin Queenie was accused of sexually assaulting his, his son, his son even going on the stand to testify against him at, at 10 years old. But what happened is 30 years later, now he's seeking exoneration and we were at his hearing in July where his son takes the stand again, this time saying it was all a lie. I was forced to tell this lie. And then the third episode, uh, which is focused on the San Antonio Four, is an interview with one of the women, um, Ana Vasquez, who was wrongfully accused and actually had to serve most of her time. And here's a little preview of that episode four, I mean, episode three. They are known as the San Antonio Four, a group of friends wrongfully convicted in the 1990s. All four accused of satanic rituals on two little girls and charged with aggravated sexual assault and indecency with a child. I had no idea that wrongful convictions were happening and, you know, along with satanic panic. Ana Vasquez, one of the four women telling her story and how she fought and never gave up hope. I just could not wrap my my mind around being convicted of a crime that never even occurred. This is South Texas Crime Stories, Satanic Panic, Part 3. So as you just heard, Anna, she was wrongfully, she has now since been exonerated as, far, as well as the other three women, and now working with the Texas Innocence Projects to help others who have been wrongfully accused. And what's next for the podcast? Well, we're taking a little break, um, but not just to like, recharge. It's because we have a big announcement coming in December and uh, we're looking forward to that announcement. I'm sure we'll be here to talk about that announcement, but we are working on some really big episodes and we're really excited about what's coming next for the podcast. It, it grew a lot quicker and faster than we expected. So we thank everybody for listening and all our viewers. And now that we're adding video, you can now watch it on YouTube. You can listen to it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Go to ksat.com. We're kind of on all platforms. Um, to, so you could experience this podcast fully from visual to just listening, depending on what your preference is. Including KSAT's YouTube channel. Exactly. On our YouTube channel, you can just type in KSAT or South Texas Crime Stories and all of the episodes would be there. And we had 25 episodes air this year. So we're really excited about that and excited about next year what's to come for this podcast. All right. Big announcement next month. Yes. A lot of hard work and very interesting so far. So good yes. job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Good to have you here. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.